Consider this problem. What is the indefinite integral of 7 raised to the natural log of x? Feel free to try this problem. Now what we need to do is adjust this equation. We could replace 7 with e raised to the ln 7. The base of the natural log is e. And these two, they cancel, giving us 7. So for instance, 5 is equal to e raised to the ln 5. So that's our first step, replacing 7 with e raised to the natural log of 7. And so this is what we have. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to switch these two exponents. And let me tell you why we can do that x to the sixth power is equal to x squared raised to the third power. When you raise one exponent to another exponent, you can multiply the two exponents. So x to the sixth is also x cubed raised to the second power. They're going to equal the same thing. So we could switch the two and the three. So we can rewrite our expression as the integral of e raised to the natural log of x raised to the natural log of 7 dx. Now notice that e to the ln 7 is equal to 7. So therefore e to the ln x must be equal to, this will have to be equal to x. So we can replace this whole thing with x. So what we now have at this point is the integral of x raised to the natural log of 7 dx. Now what do you think we need to do at this point? What is the indefinite integral of x raised to the natural log of 7? So feel free to think about that one for a moment. So what we really have here is we have a variable raised to a constant. And there's a simple way in which you could find the indefinite integral of something in that form. We could use the power rule. The antiderivative of x raised to the n, a variable raised to a constant, is going to be equal to x raised to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, the constant of integration. So the antiderivative of x raised to the natural log of 7 is going to be x raised to the natural log of 7 plus 1 divided by the exponent ln 7 plus 1. And then don't forget plus c. So that is our answer right there, but we're going to adjust it a bit. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we can split this up into two parts. For instance, x to the fifth power is equal to x squared plus, I mean, x raised to the 2 plus 3, because 5 is 2 plus 3. And x raised to the 2 plus 3 can be written as x squared times x cubed. So you can write this as the product of two expressions as long as the exponents add up to their original sum. So we could say that this is equal to x raised to the natural log of 7 times x to the first power, which is simply x, divided by, I'm going to reverse these two, 1 plus ln 7. Now, notice that x raised to the ln 7 is equivalent to 7 raised to the ln x. And you could test this out. If you plug in, let's say, 3 for x, 7 raised to the ln 3 is equal to 3 raised to the ln 7. You could type this in your calculator. These two will have the same decimal value. Or 4 raised to the ln 5, that's going to equal 5 raised to the ln 4. It works. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with our original expression, 7 raised to the ln x. So thus, our final answer for this problem is going to be 7 raised to the natural log of x times x divided by 1 plus the natural log of 7, and then finally, plus the constant 
of integration C. And so that's it for this video. So now you know how to find the indefinite integral of 7 raised to the natural log of x. Thanks for watching.